Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Early Access Standard video here for Wilds of the Drain with me, Arno Schmidt. This deck, Timo Prowess, by the way, the whole screenshot thing is because we don't have access to the actual accounts anymore, so I made a screenshot of my stream. And uh, yeah, I'm just presenting that to you here right now. Aesthetics don't matter, right? Just here's the deck and we can talk about it. So yeah. This deck, really exciting. I got it recommended to uh, by Talisca MTG, very prolific magic player and uh, also a teammate of mine for, for the recent months, um, but only for the regional championships, so not for like the Pro Tour. Unfortunately, he personally hasn't qualified uh, as we work together, but he's very talented for sure and a hard worker at that. So yeah, he uh, gave me this list and I was like, hmm, yeah, this looks kind of cool, but I'm worried about the mana. Right, this is three colors. We're playing like tap, slow lands, and all that. We're playing eight pan, pain lands. This is really painful. Um, but yeah, then I just started playing the deck, and the initial list was a little different. This is the list that I came with up with at the end of the video, and I really, I really like it. Um, and yeah, let's talk about some of the cards in here. Which you know, this is here's a lot of new stuff. We have Elusive Otter, which I cannot highlight right now, but it is a 1-1 one -one prowess creature that also functions as an adventure, adventure where it is a sorcery with X, X um, and in green you can put X counters on any target of creatures you have, so you can put a bunch of counters on one or part them. And you can also play it for zero, for one mana, just X is zero, and then basically trigger your prowess creatures and your... No, actually, you don't trigger your Questing Druid, which is funny. Questing Druid is a creature that grows, gets a 1% cut off on every other color, colored spell besides green. <laughs> and Elusive Otter's Adventure spell is green, so it doesn't grow there. But yeah, anyhow, um, the Questing Druid is obviously a house in this deck because you do have a bunch of red spells, so it will always grow. And yeah, this is just a prowess aggro into the face deck, and it works really, really, really well. I mean, I just kill people so quickly, grew up that questing druid, and then throw Ancestral Anger on it, gives a trample, right, and then a new card, Monster's Rage, which is a really pushed pump spell. I mean, I, I remember the times when we played with Titan Strength, and people just put that on their Monastery Swift Sphere back in the Cons of Tarkir days, when Monastery Swift Sphere was first printed. Um, that was the time when I started playing, you know, Standard. And Monster's Rage is just like so much better than uh, Titan Strength. Giving the thing permanent 1 plus 1 and Trample, most importantly, is amazing in a prowess deck. So Monster's Rage, phenomenal. And yeah, the mana wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, obviously you would love to have a blue-red fast land, right? Spire Bluff Canal. We don't have that, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, the mana was... You had some tap land draws, sure, but it was... It didn't matter. You just toasted your opponent and uh yeah i mean i'm talking about this deck all the time now in the intro um making it very you know elusive for you to watch this video i hope <laughs> is elusive even the right word i don't even know uh i don't even i'm not quite 100 percent what it means i'll look it up after the video anyways after the intro yeah this is prowess team of prowess a banger of a deck check out this gameplay You've got straight competitive player mentality. It's kind of why I watch you. There's other players who are doing the fun meme decks. So you're basically telling me stop this nonsense and play real decks. <laughs> okay. What are real decks? I mean, Junt Midrange, probably your real deck. Yeah, that free 2 is good. The Man Land is good. Um, Seed Shark, Blue White, maybe, with food tokens. Glass Casket. That could be good. Um, hmm. so I start with sh nah, I guess I'll start with this. Watching a fairy video on my other monitor, fairyception, unception, let's go. That's how you do it. And I hope all your other tabs also run YouTube videos of me in the background. Get all that juicy ad money. All right, we found a target for our shark. I guess I do it. It's... Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Yeah, you get out there, my friend. Oh, the pain. The pain is real. I guess this is the token deck. I was told. Okay, that was a good questing, Druid, that was good, that was good. 
The burn. The burn. Isn't early access like a holiday for me in the X? Kinda is, yeah. Kinda is. Ooh, a beast. The beast will be a 4 4 with that on fly. That card I want to kind of try. That card reads kind of good. Um, Carcassonne action and two lightning strike. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Man, expressive duration. That card was so insane. You would have that. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm so stupid. Wrong order. I need to cast this first. Oops. Oops. Sequencing, my boy. Oh yeah, press an E. Yeah, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, I get it. Uh, this just puts corners on every... This is, I think, the best, maybe, all that like Because the 5 mana card is actually pretty threatening. In a, in, a, in a deck that's built around it. Just five, cool. Also untaps you guys. Huh. Ding, 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 ding. The Monstrous Rage card is awesome. That's a really good one. I mean, if the, if the mana would be untapped, I could see that the stack is good. So, pump this up. That's 5, 6, 9, 11, 14. 7, 9, 12, 14. And these still trade. I guess I just pump this up and save it. It's not lethal, it's not lethal. That card is... Pushed! That card is pushed. Holy cow. It's a one mana aura. And that gives trample. I mean, at instant speed... One mana, one plus one aura that gives trample for one mana would already be like, hey, yeah, okay, this is reasonable. But then it also gives two plus oh on top of that. It's like, okay. That card seems pushed, right? Like, for what you get for one mana. And this card is also pretty bonkers. It triggers prowess, gives extra power. Just the best red card in the format. I have green mana, so this could actually be a pump. To play this next turn, then this. Hmm. It's interesting. It also costs us for zero, which is kind of funny. Hmm. Yeah, no, that Monster's Rage card is ridiculous. The only issue with the stack is the mana. If it, did, if it didn't have the mana issues, I could see it being actually good. But maybe it's still good without that. The Otter, huh? 
I mean, that card is also pushed the more I think about it. Not only do you have a prowess creature, you just have the spell that's good with prowess creatures on top of that. Jesus. It's a pretty sick one drop, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm kind of getting sold on this. Um, are we just rumbling? Damn, it's like all coming together. Who would have known? Who would have known? Talisker, did you know already? Uh, I think I just deal the damage here. Good old Titan Strength. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm. And you succeeded, Talisca, you succeeded. <clears throat> Give him some love, Otter. Give him some love. Pew, pew. I mean, they have, they have Lightning Strike open, right? Lightning strike. Maybe I actually give you and you love. So this is going to die to lightning strike. And if it doesn't, I'm winning. Oh, okay. Jump here, double block here, take four. This this has trample, right? Um, this is a little bit of an easy block here, but I'm a bit whatever, whatever. Damage is damage. Throw it in there. Who cares about blocks? <gasps> Monster is rage, and another one, another one, another one, another one. It still it eats that, okay? And you double dare, okay? All right, all right. Does this fly? Doesn't fly, right? No. Kill them both. Monstrous, monstrous stuff. Really glad to see you streaming again. Yeah, glad to be back. Ugh. I actually just realized that my mana base is kind of screwing me over right now. Copperline Gorge, I would kill for you. Maybe just, you probably have to just play four Capitulus and Forests and minimize the amount of these slow lands. Yeah. Revelation! Thank you for the Amazon Prime. I appreciate that. Oh, damn it. I think I gotta play it slow, right? If I if I would know that I have an untapped land on turn one, I would land the Kumano, but I don't. I don't wanna miss out on the Kumano one plus one trigger. Yeah, this 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 needs to be a clip Kaplusen Forest. Just don't care about the damage that you take yourself. Welcome! Best MTG content. Thanks, thanks man. Appreciate it. Alright, so now we can play Otter and Kumano. Or we can just questing druid exile stuff. Probably just get auto and Kumano out and get onto the board. Get on the board. What do you got? Spell pierce? Kill spell. Cut down. Fencing? Maybe just fencing, fairy's deck. Maybe my placing of the The chat could be a little higher. Questing Druid, if I haven't... Uh, we've cast it once. It, it seems good. Like... It just seems like an obviously good card to me. It just... The question is, does it find a home, right? Because it's two colors, it's red and green. It's a bit of a weird. Um, but... 
I mean, you, you get two reasonable sides and together they are good enough, I think. That's sort of my verdict on this card. Any adventure that is like cheap is instantly like better than... For example, I'm not the biggest fan of these mythic enchantments. Adventure cycle because they're expensive. One side is cheap, which, you know, helps, but the other side is so expensive, and then the other side is, like, mediocre. Like, I don't want to have a 2-2 two, two for 2, you know? It's just, like, okay, it has flash, but, like, it's still bad. Um, yeah. Go top two cards to your next next step. Oh, wow, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Until my next end step. So, they go away instantly. Hmm. I thought it was better. For a second, which would have been too good, I guess. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play a questing druid. I'll play it pre combat to see if they have a counter spell. If they don't, I'm not gonna attack. Tricolor aggro deck seems unreasonable. It's it's a blue red deck with this touch of green via the adventures. I don't even have to draw the green here in this deck because Otter is a reasonable one drop and Questing Druid is a reasonable, you know. I mean it, it, it's bad. Seek the Beast is not the best of these effects, but yeah. Being an instant helps. You would have just EOT adventured. But then you don't get the commander trigger. Ah, you can, you can, funnily enough, you can technically cast this in your end step, which might come up. I don't think this is very good in like a mid-range deck, no. You have to have cheap spells to make this good. Right, like this is not a randomly good card, like Bonecrusher Giant. This is a good card in a in a cheap spell deck. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Do it in the end step. Play around corner spell. Get those two cards. Oh, nice. Yeah, this card is sick. I like this card on a prowess deck. I haven't drawn it yet, so... I was, like, a little surprised to see it. Not even using the second mode. Someone's... So that kind of tells me that their hand is loaded. Because they're not craving for anything. Bit unfortunate that they can kill the creature in response. Hmm. You would have played on the opposing creature. Oh, that's actually... Yeah. Alright. Good call. Bro, is Master here in chat. Dude, Mastermind. Make me look like a chimp. Is opponent dead? <laughs> we'll see. We'll figure it out. Or we'll click buttons, probably dead. <laughs> uh, beat 
We're beating the fairy stack. Okay, this, this deck has to be broken. It's it's the number one deck now. It is the, 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 the deck. So would you also play a monster trade on the opposing creature this time? Just in case they have a trick. <laughs> You're so funny, Anna. You're so funny. Um... I mean, if they have a trick, they have a trick, but they actually... Yeah, they don't have a trick. Man, this card is monstrous. Literally. Yikes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. I've seen very few man lands, which is kind of sad. Black green grindy stuff, maybe? Black green food? Is there enough for a black green food deck? Gala greeters, okay. Don't kill it. Don't kill my poor druid. It's not gonna hurt you, I promise. I promise. <laughs> Broke the promise. <laughs> I was just kidding. It's gonna hurt you bad. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, let's kill the greeters. Or do I? Do I just play Swift E? Nah. This is an insane amount of damage, by the way. They don't kill my, my, my good old questing druid. They're gonna be in a world of hurt. I guess I could have just trampled over that. Oops. Maybe I should have done that, huh? That would have been a lot of damage. Yeah, I probably should have done that, actually. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. This is also a foil to cut down. <laughs> this card is so sick! Ah, oh, don't tell me you have another one. You do? You just have two go for the roads? Damn. Now I feel even worse for not... Eh, <sighs> it's okay. They got the 4-4 four, four man land on blocking duty. This one's pretty good. Maybe the best. The red-white one looks also awesome. This is why I put this card into my deck. To draw it exactly here. Mwah! Masterful deck building. Genius at hand. Oh! Uh, attack, attack! I have 8 damage to the face. Oh wow, they're not even using the cottage? 
I'm surprised. I, w I was planning to kill the cottage. Okay, jumping with that. Okay. Uh, I could shoot face. Shoot. No, it doesn't even like do extra damage. So why would I? They have just one more kill spell for the Kumano. No, they take it. Okay, pass the turn. Okay, I like this deck, man. Brand portal. Oh, free, free for four mana. I hope it doesn't die to um, a removal spell. Oh yeah, I'll have some poison, it's okay. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. All right. What's the blue for this guy? Maybe, maybe the blue is just unnecessary, huh? If it's just for one card, it's a pretty good one. Maybe, maybe it's unnecessary though. It's interesting, huh? Just a gruel, gruel spell stack. Uh, okay. Block. Sad. Maybe I should have do uh, the questing druid again in the end step to play around. Contra magic. Make this appear. Virtues of courage. Okay. I'm sure. Maybe audacity from bro. I think if you cut blue, you need another one drop creature though. Which which is the best? What's the best one drop? Don't say Phoenix check. Okay. Somewhat surprised. Both. Where's my green? Free mm. prowess trigger, that's 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 damage. To my opponent's lovely face.
Uh, I don't like wasting resources. Don't want to tap one. Maybe need more than eight green lands. I I think we're good. The reason being we're good is that again, like you don't even care. Like my deck is functional, right? Like it's functional even without them. Opponent hasn't understood the purpose of this. Early access, playing Shieldred and Seed Shark. Yeah. I can also play the good cards, but that's not fun. Boring! Boring! It's so lame! You're so lame! They have 5-5 five, five on walking duty as well. 13 life. Twelve, go to ten. They attack. I have to jump block. If I if I've hit with the reckless imports really well, that's what I'm thinking. I can maybe force the issue. I think that's better than playing a druid, honestly. Maybe it's not. Just getting another turn is nice. And then they also get another turn. Yeah, honestly, no, yeah, actually, I uh, I should always import here first, because best case, I find two cheap spells, you know, and maybe win the game or whatever, or just be in a good position after that. Worst case, I lost the counter on a questing druid, you know. Worst case happened, but it's okay. Maybe I should have bluff attacked, but... I don't know about a bluff. Oh shit, are you kidding? This has an extra ability, doesn't it? Increases the power less than it cannot. Oh, okay, fuck, okay. I'm dead. I'm super dead. What do you think about Pignet, Ru Pignet Runner in this deck? With the monster thingy, it is easy to get to four power creature. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Picnic Runner. Picnic Runner is the type of creature you could play maybe in a Gruul deck. I don't think I would play it in this deck though. You get better stuff. But it's not completely crazy. Alright. That was a bit of a sad game. Yeah, I guess it's fine. No green. Yeah. They are, I guess, I guess I have to kill this. Otter. I think he might be prepping for a stream or doing a YouTube video. Nice. Um Ashwag Automaton. Ah, I remember we didn't draw Kumano, right? That's why we lost. We draw the broken run drop. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat>
Go and place two artifacts. They have, a, they have five, nine, ten. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, my friend, let's see if you're gonna make it to the next turn. I have a feeling you might not. I could have I could have just shown him. I could have just cast the pre-combat, then he doesn't even have to think. Okay, just a casual uh, how much minus is this? Plenty. Okay. <laughs> he was at 13? <laughs> Beginning of this turn? No. How much life did he have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest of Spire doesn't seem all that good in this deck. Like the manland ability, I mean, it's 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 cute and all, and it's gonna come up, but the, the the I think more or less you're gonna get wrecked by that tap land more often than the two one is actually useful for you. So you're gonna have a mountain in most circumstances. So, but then we have to replace the order with something, and the order is strong. Order is strong. Just being a prowess creature and also enabling prowess is pretty awesome. I just end of turn in blue casting. Always a bit sad when you don't trigger Kumano. This is a just best of one. On the early access, we only have best of one decks. I'm not sure we're getting the rest of the fast lands. Maybe. But we never got them when, when Color Dash was out. We only got like one half. And now. We might also only get a, get one half. Ding ding ding. Questing Druid is Questing Druid is awesome. When is the removal? Um, play around the removal, I guess. Wasn't wrong. That's a trick I learned by Talisca MTG, by the way. And no, the stream is not sponsored by Talisca uh, whiskey. Yeah, it's tough. So many experiments by not having fast lens. Hey, hey, Tim, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how it goes. I mean, as, as you can see, like, I was very skeptical going in about this deck when I saw the deck list, because it doesn't have the fast lands, right? But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Oh man, I'm so stupid. I did the wrong order again. <laughs> but Questing Druid is a good card, yeah. I did the wrong order again, I'm so stupid! Uh, I think I just push. I don't think they have anything here. Is that true hero? Hey, Marco. Thank you for the raid, I appreciate that. Uh, um, one of the up and coming players. Mox Champ. I hope you had a good stream. You stream in Italian, right? 
I unfortunately don't have much Italian, but I'm gonna be in Italy too soon. I'm gonna have a trick a trip in Italy for 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 five days. I'm gonna be in Milano and Bergamo and uh, my two brothers' brother trip. So I'm looking forward to that. Going this Sunday. In any case, thank you for the rate. Appreciate that. Uh, that is not the best idea because I have Kumano in play. We have a trick. Okay. I got God, I guess. Hope you have a pleasant time. Thanks. Elspeth Smite. Got me good. Didn't have it on my radar. My opponent's not even a VIP. Is this is this a bot? Am I playing as a bot? Why, why are you not a VIP? They're just not important. They're just... They make sure that Live22... Some personal vendetta maybe in the visits of the Ghost Headquarters. Make sure Live22, when he gets that early access account, does not get that VIP. Alright? Make sure that that happens. Just poor, poor Live22. Wherever you are, we love you, okay, man? Don't feel down for not having the VIP. Uh, uh, five trample, kill this. Six, nine trampling. I didn't actually. That's okay. My other brothers, I have one grandmaster, chess grandmaster brother, and the other brother is 18. No, he just turned 19, actually. Time flies, man. I mean, he's, home he's almost the same age as Nathan. Weird hand. Do you just play Kumano here and keep up impulse or do you just play impulse? So I can keep up play with fire. I think I play it slow. I think I just play Kumano. I don't want to rush with this impulse fairly because the later I play it, the better it will be usually. I have two brothers. One is a chess grandmaster and one just became the drinking age. Are you just repeating me? That's not... Just making a joke. Okay. The Flash Gorger. Yes. Twisting Druid. I guess I would have been better off just passing the turn with Lightning Strike up. Who would have known? Who could have known? I mean, Flash Gorger is, is, is play. He's play. I'm afraid of Shieldred. Hi, Arne. Huge fan of the YouTube channel. Thanks. Happy to finally catch a stream. Greets from Regensburg. Super proud of my fellow country. Oh, stop. Stop it. You make me blush. Uh, okay. Shieldred is a problem for this deck. Like, black based, cut down, go for the throat, graveyard trespasser, Liliana, Shieldred. Yeah, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be fun. Oh, I could have exiled this, but if I would have lost two more life. What is? What did Mono Black get? I guess the. The mythic enchantment, which I don't think is particularly good, but people are certainly gonna try it and think it's good at the beginning. I feel like attacking with a spire on a lily is uh, not a not a good play. Because they have, I'm pretty sure they have just more removal.
They haven't had the opportunity to play removal yet, besides Liliana. If I'm beating Mono Black with this deck, we in business. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say, huh? I would lose out on my infantry. No, I can play my infantry, right? I play this, this, this. So I can take out the Ashiok if I want to. Oh, wow. The lily is still annoying. I could play with fire the lily, attack the Ashiok to two. Then I can make one ones. You're pretty much the best explorer content creator. Thanks. That's how I found you. How's the set so far? Uh, yeah, it's been all right. I, it's been good. I said new set is always exciting. Always stuff to do. Always things to uh, try and all that. Not gonna lie, I would love a rotation. You know, I'm a sucker for rotation. I love that time of the year. And now I don't have that. Uh, I'll have to wait another year for that and stand it to happen. Otherwise, I'm happy. Haste is a good keyword. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Haste is quite good in the stack, yeah. We had another... Like, do we have any other prowess creatures that are cheap? Abbot of Carol Keep. Not illegal. Graveyard of Trespassa. I think they have one go for the throat, right? Um. Hmm. We could play Questing Druid. Into. I feel, like I, wanna, I feel like I wanna gain some ground. So I'm gonna do this. Play this. Maybe I hit a land and a one drop, something like that. They're gonna kill my infantry, obviously. But maybe we can get him with the Swifty. Oh nice. Okay. So my opponent has Trespasser, go for the throat here. No cutdowns, so otherwise they would have played him. Can just swing both here. Chomping. Love it. Now we get a boat. Awesome.
Fox me as gas right now. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. You could have just played this for se Oh no, six. Okay. They haven't made a land drop, right? So they have one more spell in hand. I guess I'm just gonna grind now a little bit here. Play this. And play otter, but put counters on everything. Maybe Yeah. This becomes a four five, then they can still double it, I guess. Um You know what, I think I'll actually do this first. It's just better to get more spells going in one turn and try to have one big spell. Um, so this is... I want to get this up to 6 toughness. This already... Oh, there's only six now? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, non-green! Sure. If they want to trade, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I got enough resources at this point. Just grinding out mono black, no biggie. No biggie. And if you're able to grind out mono black, I'm gonna play it the mediocre cards, I guess. They had only two board interaction spells. I had to two form myself against the shield. Bridge. They didn't have any cut down. I have lethal, but yeah, I'm just going face of everything. I think they kill the druid. Oh, they just concede. All right, sweet. Play Sauron Scribe one on top. <laughs> yep. Okay. Cool. That was awesome. That was awesome. I like this deck. This deck is great. Um, kudos to Talisker. Go to deck list. Well done.